Hey people, it's Larry again. <clears throat> Thought I'd do one more update on these LED floodlights being used as grow lights before I make a switch out here. Had a lot of questions from people coming in asking, is the 3000K light really working for flowering? I would say if you look over there and you see that, that is actually arugula that had bolted up that high. If you look at that, I think it's pretty safe to say that the 3000K light is working. Uh, it is inducing flowering. I pull this one towards me. The camera will focus. You'll see little white hairs in there. That's the flowering. That's the arugula flowering. And this one clear over here, if I pull this over, you can see a lot of flowering on that one. And it just so happens to be right below that 3000K light. And if you look at the tomato plant, this is just a volunteer one that popped up in here. If you look right where my finger is pointing, what do you know we have flowers developing on this. Now for the would-be grow lighting experts that seem to randomly invade my channel and uh, try to convince me that I'm full of shit and say that these lights are not putting off the necessary par lighting that plants need. I'll just present this question. Um, since this flowering is 100% dependent upon uh, the red portion of the color spectrum, where's that red light coming from? Well, you look at the lights, you'll see the 6500K closest to the top of the of what you're viewing and then there's that 3000 K in the middle and another 6500 K over there that 3000 K sure looks like it's putting off red light to me and if you look at these plants I'm willing to bet that if plants had a voice they would agree as well because there are a lot of them flowering in here and the flowering only occurs when there's the correct red portion of the light spectrum in there for them to, you know, for the chlorophyll uh, to actually produce flowers. So I guess you can take it or leave it. But I figured I would shoot this last video with these LED floodlights above this wicking bed because I'm going to move them over to my towers and as the title of these videos in this series indicate there's you know it's uh, LED floodlights versus T5s so I'm taking these out and I'm gonna put the T5 fixture over here and I'm gonna start over from scratch and see how well uh, plants perform under the T5 by comparison to what we've seen here this is just a few days over two months worth of growth. I've had to trim this thing off over and over. I can't tell you how many times. Um, but obviously the, the LED floodlights work. There's no question about it. Now the next step is to compare them to uh, an actual T5 overhead. These are only running at a total of 150 watts. My T5, I can only tone that down to either 100 watts or 200 watts. So I guess I'll have to go with the 200 watt setting to at least get, get it close, which means possibly the T5 is going to have a, an unfair advantage. We'll see. But what we're going to end up doing is taking this, if we can see it, yes. This is a six tube T5, a quantum bad boy. And what I can do is turn off the two inside tubes and leave these two tubes and these far tubes over here turned on. Put those over the wicking bed. And then I'm going to bring the LEDs over here. 
this tower is going to go away. I'm going to make two more G towers over here. But we're going to have one LED floodlight for every two towers. So there's going to be one on these two towers and then one on these two and so on. And as for the light rail light mover up there, what I'm going to do is put a single 3000K LED fixture on here sliding back and forth to give the plants, I guess, some necessary uh, red lighting for their flowering if it's really needed. These over here, these cups underneath this fixture, this is just a Sunblaze T5 dual tube. I'm going to leave those as is, but we're going to have towers plus these uh, grow tubes down here. Good grief, it's hard to see things out here. <laughs> um, running on nothing but the LED lights just to see how well the towers behave under um, LED lighting instead of fluorescence. So that's it. Don't really have anything else this week. So we'll see you as things progress. Take it easy and uh, remember, open source is the only way. Bye.